<laughs> I feel much better now though. You were crying. I was crushed by drywall. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> y'all it's me Azalea you're watching another episode of this old shack we got our 1929 fixer upper that we bought for twenty thousand dollars and this is the story of us fixing her up this is my son Tom hi and today first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a peek into the breaking area of our front porch for the first time I'm gonna peek under there and see what's what Tom you want to pull her up Move the shovel first. We don't want to drop that under the porch. All right, move that board. Just lift it up. I wonder if that's a water hose spigot, like a water hose could go there. That big pipe is definitely, you know, our sewer drain. And maybe that other place is going to be a convenient way to get a water hose out here. On the big sewer drain. A light egg? Yeah. We need something to wedge there. No, not yet. Can I take him? Yes, you can stand on it. Mm. All right, we got something. Ain't it good I picked that up off the side of the road to give us a for now patch job? I mean, it's a nice patch. It'll be a nice patch. I'll be able to stop telling people, no, don't step there. <laughs> All right, let's see about a two by four. Is that going to be that right size under here? Tom, take this. Move that away. Take it away. Alright, it's taken away. Let me get my hammer now. Yeah! Oh! I need a shorter piece. <laughs> so, obviously, y'all, this porch is going to need some big repairs, but we need to get moved into this house, you know? We need to move in here. hot dog that means something's going good that's true that is what that means and you don't even eat meat hot dogs mm. all right i have put this up in here now this doesn't sink down this is just a patch job this ain't fixed forever all right so these are the nails and screws i done found around this place and then this is my pickle jar of nails i got that I collect around. Y'all know what I love? I love my label maker. Raise your hand if you have one of these guys. I love it. Y'all know if you know. I mean, ever since she got that for Christmas, she's been happy. Or solstice. I got another thinner piece. I'll slip that in too. 
I mean, it's kind of fun. Of course it's fun. Wait, could I take a hammer and this? No, not right now, babe. I should have brought my notebook. You should make an episode. Tap it in there, up under there. Okay. No, I got it. I'm just talking. So good. All right, let's go on to my next phase. You can unscrew that now by yourself. y'all what's going down in here is this is right off of the kitchen and the front hall this is the stairs to the basement and in the past videos I'm always referring to the basement as the deep dark basement so it's also deep and dark right this is the kills primer this is not my big reveal in job paint job this is going to kill mold mildew bacteria that kind of stuff and the basement's down there. And that whole thing needs a new floor and a whole thing. So, and there was mold growing down in the basement. So we want to kill spores, okay? <laughs> so I've gone in with the roller, which is better for getting bigger amounts of area. And then I'm gonna go in with my little trim brush to do these little edges. Now there's a little ledge right here that I'm not going to paint today, but it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna clean it with my vinegar cleaning solution so it'll be ready for me to paint next time. So some of the looser little pieces of paneling, if it was peeling up at all, I peeled it off. And then you paint what's underneath, that's fine. You don't want anything falling off after the house is done. Okay, I'm gonna clean this ledge. Give these first couple of steps a wipe. Once an area starts looking a little bit better, it's like it gets on a roll, and then you can just make it better and better and better.
All right, let's get back to this porch and then I'm gonna wrap it up for today. anyway. It's just temporary. That is actually in really good. Alright, let's make a starter hole for the next one. So like these nails are super big. Oh, this was a, it this one's a little bent. These are just free old nails I got in here from this house. This one's bent. Let's make a bent pile so we can discard those babies. This could be a starter nail hole. All right, we'll do a little starter hole so maybe it won't split this time. Nastiness. There we go. Start a hole and a big nail. Hey, yeah, uh, you're, you're like a squirrel foraging. Kind of like a squirrel <laughs> foraging. You're a, you're a fixer-upper squirrel. Yes. Now this is better. This is right much of a ledge. Tripping on. make it less of a ledge for tripping. Ain't gonna fall through nothing on this porch. One day we'll get some workers in here, fix it up right. But this is considerably better. It's safer. Tom, you wanna come over and jump on my down on this? Make sure it's safe. Um, if it's not safe, I'm not breaking my leg. I'm sure it's safe, but this is just for the viewers. And, by the way, oh, and, uh, by the way, I'm a hundred pounds. Hundred and twelve. So, I really think it would have broken on how high I'm jumping. Alright. One more! Good job. It's, it's safe. Maybe I need to do a ledge thing right here so you don't trip coming out the house. It's not ideal. It's a trip hazard, but it ain't a fall through and break your leg hazard at this point anymore. That's good.
there we have it. A patch job. Oh, a bush. Can we have to save that one too? Uh, the... Tell them about the hams. John loves this beer called Hams. And him and his friends were joking about, is the house Hams approved or whatever? Some crazy stuff like that. Yeah, Hams approved. And then Taste he came to look at the house and there was an empty hams can on the front porch. And at least around these parts, it's a little bit of an obscure beer. <laughs> and so it was a sign. He took it as a sign. Sean, did you take it as a sign, a good omen? It was a very good omen. Blessing of the hams. Blessing of the hams. Prime snake turf. It is prime snake turf. I'm so, I, we're liberating the garden wall here. I mean, this is a, this is, a, this is some crazy weird thing. It looks like a little boardwalk that he put on a swamp. I don't know what it is. Is it just like a, a walkway? It's pretty short for a fence. Get, you get the trimmers and I'll hold it up and snip some of this stuff. Oh, that'll do it. What is this nonsense? Is it a fence? I don't like it. Hey y'all, it's the weekend. I got John here. You know, he works on the computer during the week. And so yeah, he's here. Uh, we had a rough start today. Um, do you want to tell him what happened? <laughs> you go. Okay, well, John came in, and I'm I'm highly sensitive person. I actually have a borderline personality disorder. I just feel everything so deeply, like black and white. Anyway, I didn't feel praised enough. At, like, and I felt like he was hurting the house's feelings as well, because I've really personified her. And I cried. But before I started crying... <laughs> In the living room, there's like, I don't know, eight really heavy, really big, like, drywall pieces. And they were stacked up against the wall. And he went to go look at them. <laughs> and they all came down on him. I mean, he really wiped out. I don't remember the last time I saw a grown-up get wiped out like that. Uh, I, d I thought we might be going to the urgent care. Yeah. How are you now? Oh, I'm fine. A little, a little sore, but I don't think I sustained major damage. I really thought you might have sustained major damage. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. I was in shock. I saw it happen. I was getting ready to talk about my emotions, and then it all came down on him. And I was like, oh my God. Terrible start to the day. <laughs> I feel much better now, though. You were crying. <laughs> I was crushed by drywall. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice out. It's such a great house day. It is. And there's a nice breeze. Mm -hmm. um, you know, John's not fully recovered from being <laughs> laid out under this drywall. But I'm emotionally, I feel much better now. You know, just... You better. I'm so much better. And, you know, I just have to vocalize my emotions and be like, you know, it's like triggering for me uh, when I feel like you're talking bad about the house but he's just talking about things you know to talking do about projects. his heart was absolutely in the right place that whole time it was just the language <sighs> i get sensitive mm -hmm. so yeah what do y'all think this thing is you think it was some kind of fence they were using somewhere i mean it looks like a little boardwalk you put over a swamp i don't know what in the world that is i don't think it's gonna be any use to us I mean, there's so many nails and boards to pull out of there. The what, the thing I thought, the only thing I thought is those long pieces could be used for raised garden beds, but it wouldn't be worth the work of prying every single other piece off of it. I think we're going to saw it in half and take it to the dump. Mm -hmm. What do you think?
indeed. John, does it make it unco make you uncomfortable when I use power tools without gloves? <laughs> it's a poor safety practice. Do you recommend that all of the viewers always wear leather gloves when they're using power oh, tools? Yes, it's important to consider your safety gear. You know, you don't need it till you need it, and then you wish you had it. I like to. I just, I have the eyeglasses to help me see, and I kind of use them as safety glasses as well. What do you think of that? Uh, abilities with those eyeglasses. Yeah. They probably were plastic, though. I think my lenses are made of plastic. Well. I think glass glasses are old, Tommy. Maybe you should Google this. I'll Google it.